All right, and then now we're going to be moving on to the Q&A. Your first question, what does it mean to be financially solvent and how do you plan to make AFSA financially solvent? To be financially solvent, I think it means that you have all the money and funds to um, fund your events and make sure that you don't go over budget and eventually to be financially stable. So ways I would do this is um, try properly getting reimbursed through AS and making a proper budget so um, and when communicating with the other board members to make sure that they don't go over budget. Do you have any new ideas on how to promote fundraisers and keep members coming out to them? So as I mentioned earlier, I'd like to do joint fundraisers. Um, so it's a way to interact and meet with new people aside from just the organization. And also, rather than, for me, rather than quantity, I would like to have quality fundraisers. So I know for this year we did the Chipotle fundraiser, which was 50% of the proceeds. So next year I'd like to contact Chipotle again, and I would also like to have a goal of making all proceeds 25% uh, of whatever or the, whatever uh, we make. And this is going to be a scenario question. So, the budget for an event was approved for an X amount of money. How would you handle a situation in which an unexpected expense comes up, in which the funds were not allocated for? So, um, so it means that there is additional funds that cannot be reimbursed? That were not approved. Um, so, for the AS, they actually have a certain amount of money that's called unallocated money, and they keep that until the end of the semester. So, if there's ever a problem or issue that arises where we cannot pay something off, then I would like to go to um, talk with the AS and try to negotiate a price where we can uh, do the reimbursements. The Director of Finance works closely with AS, the Associated Students and there are a lot of sensitive, time-sensitive paperwork. How will you ensure that reimbursements to GP members or board members are given back on time? Um, so I would make sure I'd have, I'd be very transparent and communicate with all my other board members to make sure all the papers go in on time. And I know, also note um, in the beginning it would be kind of tricky to do all the paperwork. And AS actually has, in the beginning of each semester, certain workshops that you can go to and help the certain organizations to um, help go through that process more smoothly. So I'd go to those to make sure that we can properly get reimbursed. For reimbursements, when there is a mistake that a board member, there is a mistake that a board member is at fault for, how would you resolve this issue? Would it be through utilizing APSA money or would the e-board member be responsible for the cost? Um, so it depends on the amount. If it was a small amount, then I would make the person who made that mistake pay for it. But if it gets to a point where it's a lot of money, then I would go into the APSA account. But to prevent that from happening in the first place, I'd make sure I communicate with them and double check their budgets. All right, and those are all the questions. So thank you for your time.